What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the Nice States Hedgehog, here with our Week 3 matchup here for the UPC. Going against Phantom Base. If we win this match, it's going to put us in a decent spot to have a safety blend into the playoffs, potentially. We lose this, it's definitely going to be harder going through in the rest of this match, the rest of the season. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Excuse me. So, with that being said, let's go ahead. First off, turn the volume down so it's not going to blast your guys' eardrums. And let's, uh, wait. Uh, okay, really? Jeez, pressure and synchronize. Okay, levitate, peace, boost, rockhead, synchronize, pressure, justify. Okay. And this, this is a cool thing, too. Like, when you have this like this, I can just do this now. All right, let's challenge them. Um... If I see T-Tar, I'm going to feel a little bummed not putting Drain Punch on this set. But I think Earthquake is still safe. But if you hear any potential purring or any kitty noises, I have a cat who is laying right next to my leg. Ooh. Wow, he did not bring anything I expected. Wow, he did not bring, like, anything I expected. So, he brought dual water with Quillfish. Very interesting with that. So, uh, he did bring this to Joy. No Piloswine. We do see Tyranitar. Oh, so he actually didn't expect... Oh, so he was probably hardcore expecting my rain. So, that makes sense. So... Nope. No Magirna, which is very surprising. So I do see the Delphox there. And then the Regi... Why is Regieleki here? I don't understand that. I Unless he really felt confident prepping for this. So if he brings Regieleki, I'm assuming this Leki is probably most likely going to be a Scarf. So looking at the lead options here... Honestly, I just want to lead with Bonsai. Bonsai matches up against everything perfectly. In comes Quillfish. So Quillfish is not Intimidate. Okay. So Quillfish is Prankster. I'm going to Rock Polish here. I see no reason not to Rock Polish. Actually, let me look here. Let me look at Quillfish here. Does it get... What kind of Prankster moves could Quillfish cause... Me problems. I think spikes. Toxic spikes. Yeah, I think he's gonna set. He's gonna flip turn. Do what? 18% to me. So I'm gonna rock polish here. He goes into Decidueye here. Yo, this music's dope. Radical Red. I might need to play it just for the music, man. All right. All right. So a. Head smash is going to chunk him. So I'm going to head smash here. Get a cr- Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that crit mattered. That crit 100% ma mattered. Oh, that actually sucks for him. Because that was his best way to handle... What's his name? Um, I'm blanking on the name. Keldeo! Oh, that was his Keldeo check. Gone. That sucks, man. Alright, Delphox. If your Scarf Fire Blast kills me. If you have Flamethrower, do you kill me? Flamethrower does 80 to 95. Wait, he said he misclicked, so he's probably not Scarfed. Wait. Is this wrong? Oh, and 340 speed. Oh, oh, never mind. I would hammer here. Bonsai putting in work. 
Even if he brings in the Delphox, he protects. Okay, smart play. So he is protect, so he is pressure stalling me here. I just would hammer again. There's no resist on his team. Even if I would hammer this Delph, it's still doing close to 50%. I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna go for the wood hammer. So he misclicked there, which that tells me he might not be it. Dude. That's just unfortunate there. And the thing is, the Delphox is chipped now to where... I think I'm just going to Earthquake. He's not Scarfed. So now goes this. I think I'm... Am I seriously going to 6-0 off lead here? Because if so, I'm going to feel so terrible. Like, I, 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 like, here's the thing, right? The Curdon Decidui mattered the most right there. The Curdon Del Fox, that didn't realistically matter. But, all right, so what's my best play against Mega Tyranitar? Mega Tyranitar. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, wow, actually, I don't actually don't kill him. If he's got no HP investment, it's a roll. It's a roll. He really can't kill me, so I'm just going to wood hammer here. That did a good chunk. He crunches. I just wood hammer again. He's got to have to sack something now. Oh, I, I, I think the Intimidate from Quillfish would have probably been better in this match, but in hindsight, uh, Hazard stacking with Quillfish was definitely better with the Prankster options. So I definitely think him going with the hazard stack method. Definitely a better bring on his end right here. He's actually going to... He reveals black sludge to me. Okay. So I'm just going to earthquake here now. He taunted. Interesting. So that's three kills for Bonsai. In comes Suicune. I just would hammer again. He's probably trying to PP stall me here, which makes sense. He probably taunted me there just in case I wanted to go for a second rock wash to. He scalds. Doesn't. Oh my god. That's just not fair, man. Now I'm just going to click Woodhammer again. Actually, okay, never mind. How much did Earthquake do the last time? Earthquake did 31%. I think I still click Woodhammer here. Down goes Suicune. That's just... In comes Alecky. The Tyranitar has no speed. Let me look at that crunch damage there. Crunch. Crunch damage does 45 to 54. He did 39 to me. He's adamant, so he must be jolly. Do 41 to 49. How does he... He's not max attack. Yeah, he's not max attack then. Aleki kills me here. And do I care? Reggie, Aleki. If it screams... I think I go into Mew here. Not Mew. I'm going to Rotom here. Ooh. 
Good play. Good play. That was a good play. Because Ancient Power, I'm pretty positive, killed me there. 252. Modest. Ancient Power. That sucked. Uh, does 47 to 56. Hold on. Did about clean 60%. So he did 60. 47 to 56. 46. So either he's timid or he's max. He's probably timid. So he's timid. Which means he still kills me here. He's going to go for the Ancient Power again. Oh, did I not even you? God dang it. How much does he do to my Nemesis? Thunderbolt. So in 47 to 56, so I can win with Nemesis. So I think I actually just sack wrote him here. Doesn't get the booze. I go Nemesis here. Sludge Wave is a guaranteed KO at this range, so I just Sludge Wave. Even if I go minus two, how much am I doing to this thing? 55 to 65. Yeah, I don't mind dropping Draco here. Oh, man. I didn't put Ice Shard on. I'm going to drop it on the Draco here. I crit him, didn't I? Don't tell me I crit him. Pick up the big 5-0-W. Four kills, though, for for Bonsai. Bonsai's getting title. And then last two kills for Nemesis. Yeah, I'm... Ah, I, I feel bad, dude. I, re, I feel really bad to Phantom Base there. But, again, the only crit that mattered in this game was 100% the Decidueye one. That Decidueye one was the only one that mattered. The crit on Delphox really didn't matter since he just revealed to me he wasn't Choice Scarf. Which I think um, Phantom should not have said anything. If he had said anything, I would have actually swapped. So I think Phantom telling me that basically when he said that, telling me that he wasn't Scarfed, I think was a massive, massive misplay on his end. So... But, I mean, at that moment, he was like, oh, wait, he made the misclick. And then he just probably said it out loud to himself. So, very unfortunate there. But, yeah, we are going to pick up a big 5-0-W. And that uh, puts us at 2-1 with a plus 5 diff. That's definitely going to put us in the top 3 to top 4 again. We are already in the top 4 still, even with a 1-1 record. But, big victory here for us today. So, really going to put us strong for the playoff hunts. We are... Again, I think we pretty much could have been Phantom's team the way it was this time. I think the fact that him not bringing the Mons that he really should have brought versus our team, um, I think made a big of a difference there. But again, it's a he should he he said she should thing kind of thing. So yeah, but Bonsai though going four kills though, man, I'm proud. I knew grabbing Tortero was gonna put in the work. I know if some people were skeptical of it, here it is, but. Yeah, but GG's. Nemesis also getting some KOs finally, which is really nice. But yeah, GG's to Phantom Base. I know he didn't think this was a GG, and I don't blame him for being upset and everything like that. Uh, I honestly probably would have felt a little upset too because of the fact of how the game was played there. So really do apologize to Phantom for that. I'm pretty sure I got a max roll with that too. 65, he was at 71, so if he's got no HP. Oh, I got the max roll. Come on, mint game. Stop rubbing salt in the wound of the poor kid. Oh, that sucks, man. That really sucks. I got a max roll, too, man. But anyways, thank, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And until next time, everybody, peace.